Hello everyone, Max here from Evidence-Based Football Manager. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that's requested all the time, which is mentoring. In Football Manager, you can get three or more players to form a mentoring group. You don't have to specifically designate who the mentor is going to be in that mentoring group. As long as you group three or more players together in a single group, the game will automatically work out who the mentor is going to be and who the mentees will be in that group. Do note that you can only form mentoring groups with players who are in the same squad. So you can't, for example, get a player from the senior squad to mentor a player from the youth squad. Other than that, we're not given too much information about exactly how the mentoring mechanic works in the game. For example, it's not very clear if mentoring affects the current ability rating of players or if it affects their attributes. Do the mentor and the mentees have to share the same playing position? Does mentoring get less efficient when the group gets too big? These are some questions that I've had uh, playing Football Manager that the game doesn't tell you. So there's only one way to find out, which is to run some control trials. I'll go through the experiment setup for today's tests. I used the test league, which is a custom league that I constructed myself using the pre-game editor. This is the same test league that I used when I made my uh, training analysis video series a while ago. Basically, there are four teams in the league that are filled with 11 clone players who are all uh, 18 years old. I edited one player from each team to become an ideal mentor who is 28 years old with a 200 out of 200 current ability rating. This mentor was also given a perfect 20 out of 20 rating for seven different attributes. Leadership, ambition, loyalty, pressure, professionalism, sportsmanship and temperament. These are the attributes in the game that determine a player's personality. Actually, there are two more attributes in the game that also influence uh, player personality, uh, determination and controversy, but I didn't include those two uh, in today's tests. Determination is an attribute that behaves in a, a very unique way in Football Manager. It's an attribute that really needs a whole research video on its own, uh, which is why I decided not to include it in today's tests. Controversy, on the other hand, is an attribute that's uh, not really important uh, because it just affects how a player deals with the media in the game. So I just left, I just set it as uh, 10 out of 20 and uh, I, I just ignored it for the rest of these tests. So the player who's designated as the mentor has 20 out of 20 rating in seven different personality attributes, uh, which gives him the charismatic leader personality. These mentor players were given four natural playing positions, striker, uh, AML, AMC, and AMR. And uh, two players from each team were chosen as mentees, a striker, and a winger. So that means uh, the mentor and the two mentee players will have the same natural playing positions. The test league was simulated for one whole season and I recorded the CA ratings and the personality attributes of the mentee players at the end of each simulation. I tried changing the various parameters in the game that I thought could be related to the mentoring game mechanic, uh, including uh, the size of the mentoring group, the age of the mentor, the age of the mentees, the CA rating of the mentor, the personality attributes of the mentor, and lastly, I try changing the playing positions of the mentor so that, uh, so that the position of the mentor is different from the position of the mentee players. And let's take a look at the results. First of all, I have a bar graph here that shows you how the CA ratings of players change throughout the season in the test league. The average CA rating of the two mentee players at the start of the season was 96. When no mentoring was done, the average CA rating recorded at the end of the season was 118.0. Remember, the two mentee players in these tests are both 18 years old, so they showed pretty good growth uh, just by default, uh, even in the absence of mentoring. When mentoring was done throughout the season, the average CA rating of the mentees at the end of the season was 118.1, which is uh, extremely similar to the previous scenario when mentoring was not done. So this suggests to me that mentoring does not make players develop any faster uh, in terms of their CA ratings. Next, let's take a look at the personality attributes. So I have a huge bar graph here that looks a little bit forbidding, but that's okay. We can go through it together slowly. 
So this is a graph that shows you how seven different attributes of the two mentee players changed throughout the season. This part uh, shows you how the ambition attribute changed uh, under the various testing conditions. This part shows you how the loyalty attribute changed throughout the season and uh, so on for the seven different attributes. I'll start by presenting these, uh, these six uh, attributes together. Ambition, loyalty, pressure, professionalism, sportsmanship and temperament. Uh, because these attributes responded to mentoring in very similar ways. If Actually, if you look closely at these bar graphs uh, for these six types of attributes, you'll notice that uh, they have a very similar uh, overall shape. So I will just pick one of these attributes so I can explain it in uh, more detail. Uh, let's have a look at professionalism. So uh, here, this blue colored bar uh, is the value at the start of the season, which is 10 out of 20. This orange colored bar is the control, which is when no mentoring was done. So in the absence of mentoring, professionalism of the two mentee players grew on average from 10 to 10.4 throughout the season. This gray bar is when mentoring was done under the default mentoring conditions. Uh, so this bar is taller than the orange bar by 0.2 points, uh, which means that mentoring was effective in boosting the professionalism of the mentee players. You might think that 0.2 is not a very big change and that uh, it could just be due to statistic statistical noise. Uh, yes, that is true. 0.2 is not a very big difference. But the fact that I'm seeing the same pattern of boost across all six of these attributes makes me pretty confident that uh, that the difference of 0.2 between the orange bar and the gray bar is in fact due to the effects of mentoring and uh, not just due to statistical noise. As you can see, uh, all six of these attributes showed uh, a little bit of extra growth when mentoring was done compared to the control. And the fact that, uh, the fact that this same pattern is observed across six different attributes can't just be coincidental. So I am pretty confident in drawing the conclusion that mentoring can influence these six types of personality attributes, ambition, loyalty, pressure, professionalism, sportsmanship, and temperament. I tried changing the mentoring conditions in a few different ways, and five of those changes resulted in a lower mentoring efficiency compared to the default mentoring conditions. First, when I placed 10 mentee players into the same mentoring group instead of just two, professionalism of those 10 mentee players grew from 10 to 10.4, which is similar to the orange bar, which suggests to me that uh, mentoring becomes less efficient if the size of the mentoring group gets too big. Second, when I changed the age of the mentor from 28 to 15, Professionalism of the mentee players only grew from 10 to 10.1. This means that uh, if the mentor is younger than the mentees, the mentees will not respond very well to mentoring, which makes sense. Uh, it's like getting mentored by your younger brother. Uh, who would want that, yeah? It's just not going to work. Right, third, uh, when I changed the age of mentees from 18 to 24, professionalism of the mentee players only grew to... Uh, from 10 to 10.3, uh, which is uh, similar to the orange bar. Uh, this means that uh, when the mentees are too old, mentoring also loses its uh, effectiveness. I remember seeing an in-game help message uh, once that said that uh, mentoring is effective until the age of 24. You know those uh, uh, one-liner messages that appear when the game is loading? Uh, so one of those messages said that uh, the cutoff age for mentoring is 24. And uh, as you can see here, uh, when, the mentees, when the mentee players were set as 24 years of age, uh, mentoring was indeed shown to be ineffective. Right, next, uh, when I changed the mentor's CA rating from 200, to, uh, 200 out of 200 to 1 out of 200, professionalism of the mentee players only grew from 10 to 10.3, which is also similar to the orange bar. So this means that uh, when, when you're choosing a player in the game to become a mentor, uh, you really need to make sure that you pick someone who has uh, an adequate CA rating. Lastly, when I change the personality attributes of the mentor from 20 out of 20 to 1 out of 20, professionalism of the mentee players actually fell from 10 to 9.4. 
This is the only test result where the six different types of uh, attributes of the mentee players showed negative growth throughout the season. I suspect this is because the personality attributes of mentees are influenced by the corresponding attributes of the mentor. If a personality attribute of the mentor is higher than that of the mentee, the attribute of the mentee will show positive growth Whereas if the attribute of the mentor is lower than that of the mentee, the attribute of the mentee player will show negative growth. This is an interpretation that aligns with the stated purpose of the mentoring game mechanics. According to the developers, a mentor's personality can rub off, uh, so to speak, uh, on, on the youngsters that, they, uh, that they're mentoring, uh, which is reflected in the findings of these tests. There were two variables that I tested that did not affect the efficiency of mentoring uh, for these uh, six personality attributes. Those variables are the leadership of the mentor and also the mentor's playing position. This means that the mentor's leadership does not by itself affect the efficiency of mentoring. And also mentors don't need to have the same playing position as their mentees. You can, for example, uh, ask uh, Rafael Varane of Manchester United, who is a central defender, to mentor uh, Alejandro Ganacho, who is a left winger. Or you can ask uh, uh, Joshua Kimmich of Bayern, who is a central midfielder, to mentor uh, Mathis Tell, who is a striker. The difference in playing position between the mentor and the mentee is irrelevant. Okay, now uh, we're going to take a look at uh, leadership. So this part of the graph shows you how the leadership attribute of the men of the two mentee players changed throughout the season uh, under the various testing conditions. In the control, when no mentoring was done, uh, leadership of the mentee players changed on average from 10 to 10.7 throughout the season. When mentoring was done uh, using the default mentoring conditions, the average leadership attribute uh, of the two mentee players at the end of the season was 10.6, uh, which is actually a tiny bit lower than the control. So this tells me that uh, mentoring has no impact on the leadership attribute of, uh, of mentees. I tried changing the test conditions in various ways, and uh, there was negligible change in the leadership attribute of the two mentee players uh, uh, recorded at the end of the season. So looking at these tests, my conclusion is that mentoring has no impact on the leadership attribute of mentee players. Okay, so far we've been looking at tests done on the lab conditions using my, uh, using my test league. What I'm going to do now is to try to replicate these findings from the test league in a field test uh, that uses a real league in FM23. So here I've loaded Bayern Munich from the Bundesliga. There are three wonder kids in Bayern uh, who will act as uh, mentees in these tests. Uh, they are Mathis Tell, Paul Vanner, and Gabriel Vidovic. At the start of the game, these three youngsters are part of the Bayern B team, so I had to move them to the senior squad uh, so that they could be mentored by a senior player. I've chosen Joshua Kimmich to be the mentor for these tests. Kimmich, in many ways, is an ideal mentor in FM23 because he has near-perfect ratings in, in a lot of desirable personality attributes. For example, uh, Kimmich's loyalty is 16 out of 20, his professionalism is 20 out of 20, and his leadership is 17 out of 20. So any wonder kid who's, uh, who is mentored by Kimmich will benefit from these high personality attributes. So here you can see I've, I've grouped these four players together into a single mentoring group. It says here that uh, Kimmich will have a significant influence on the group, uh, which is what we want. And the three mentee players will receive significant effects from the group, which is also what we want. So the game was simulated until the end of the Bundesliga season and uh, I've recorded the change in the CA ratings and the personality attributes of these three youngster players. And let's take a look at the results. I have some tables here that show you the CA ratings and the personality attributes of the three mentee players when they were subject to two different scenarios. The first scenario is the control. Uh, so this is when the three wonder kids were placed in the senior squad without being subject to any mentoring. The second scenario is when the three wonder kids were mentored by Joshua Kimmich uh, throughout the season. 
If you take a look at the CA ratings of these players, you can see that there is negligible difference between the two scenarios. For example, if you take a look at uh, Mathis Tell, in the first scenario, his CA rating at the end of the season was 125.5. And in the second scenario, his CA rating at the end of the season was 125.4. The, the CA ratings in these two scenarios are extremely similar for all three of these uh, youngsters, which confirms what we found earlier using the test league, uh, which is that mentoring has no impact on the CA ratings of players being mentored. Now let's take a look at the personality attributes. This time I'll get you guys to take a look at these tables at the bottom that show you the amount of attribute growth throughout the season. For example, if you take a look at uh, pressure of Mathis Tell, it was 13 at the start of the season and uh, in the first scenario when no mentoring was done, uh, it grew to 13.2 by the end of the season. So the amount of growth was uh, 0.2 throughout the season. Uh, whereas uh, in the second scenario, when uh, when Tell was mentored by Kimmich, uh, his uh, pressure grew from 13 to 13.6. So the amount of growth is 0.6. Now you can see that Gabriel Vidovic has had next to no growth in any of these attributes in both scenarios, which I must say is rather odd. I don't know why Vidovic hasn't responded well to mentoring by Kimmich. Maybe Vidovic just doesn't get along very well with Kimmich, I don't know. There must be a factor in the game other than mentoring that influences the growth of these personality attributes. I don't know what those factors are, uh, it is something I could look into in the future. But in contrast to Vidovic, Mathis Tell and Paul Vanner have responded well to mentoring. For example, uh, Mathis Tell has a starting ambition of 17. When no mentoring was done, uh, his ambition grew on average by a negative 0.1 point. But when he was mentored by Kimmich, his ambition grew on average by 0.6 points. Also, uh, Paul Vanner has a starting professionalism of 15. When no mentoring was done, his professionalism grew on average by uh, negative 0.3 points. But when he was mentored by Kimmich, his professionalism grew on average by 0.5 points. So you can see that when Kimmich's personality attribute was higher than that of Tell and Vanner, uh, the corresponding attribute of Tell and Vanner showed positive growth. So this means that uh, Kimmich's personality is able to influence the personality of his mentees, uh, which is what I expected to see. And the reverse was true when Kimmich's attribute was lower than that of the mentees. For example, if you take a look at uh, sportsmanship, Kimmich's sportsmanship is 12, which is lower than uh, the sportsmanship of Mathis Tell. In the first scenario, when Tell was not being mentored, his uh, sportsmanship attribute fell by 0.2 points throughout the season, but when he was mentored by Kimmich, uh, his sportsmanship attribute fell by uh, 0.4 points throughout the season. And it's a similar story for temperament. Kimmich's temperament is 10, uh, which is lower than both uh, Mathis Tell and Paul Vanner. And uh, temperament of both Tell and Vanner fell by greater amounts when they were being mentored by Kimmich. Again, the inference here is that personality of mentors can rub off on their mentee players. So these findings using Bayern players confirms not only my earlier findings from the test league, but it also confirms the stated purpose of the mentoring game mechanic, which is that uh, the personality of the mentors can influence the personality of their mentees. All right, folks, time to make a summary of today's findings. One, Mentoring has no impact on the current ability ratings of players being mentored. Mentoring doesn't make the CA ratings of players grow any faster or any slower. Two, mentoring can influence the personality of mentee players. If the personality attribute of the mentor is higher than that of the mentee players, the attribute of the mentees will show positive growth. If the personality attribute of the mentor is lower than that of the mentee players, the attribute of the mentees will show negative growth. 3. The following factors in the game lowered the efficiency of mentoring. When the mentoring group is too big, 
when the mentor is younger than the mentee, when the mentees are 24 years of age or older, and also uh, when the mentor has a very low current ability rating. Four, the following factors had no impact on the efficiency of mentoring. The leadership attribute of the mentor and also the playing position of the mentor. All right, everyone, announcement time. This is going to be my last video for FM23. You all know uh, FM24 has been announced uh, recently, uh, which means that uh, the annual life cycle of FM23 is soon coming to an end. I'm planning to take a break from YouTube for one or two months uh, while I wait for FM24 to be released. Uh, I just want to uh, take a quick break from the game, uh, recharge, and uh, when the beta version of FM24 is released, uh, I, will, I will play around with it for a bit uh, before I resume my research again uh, based on FM24. I do have a few different projects in mind that I can go for uh, uh, using FM24. Uh, obviously, I can't make any decisions before I uh, uh, look at before I have a look at the actual game. Uh, uh, but yeah, there are a few different research options that I'm that I'm thinking about. I know you guys give me heaps of research requests all the time. Uh, I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Uh, it's just that uh, I I can only tackle one one topic at a time, so. Uh, it does take time to go through all the requested topics. Anyway guys, uh, thank you so much for all the support that you've given me throughout the year. Uh, everything I do on this channel, I do it for one purpose and that is to bring you quality tips and advices on Football Manager uh, based on evidence, the whole evidence and nothing but the evidence. Alright guys, uh, you all take care and uh, I will see you in the next Football Manager year when uh, FM24 is released. This is Max from Evidence-Based Football Manager, signing out.